labor here to enable the divine purpose of the universe to unfold. That is how important you are. Thinking and consciousness, they are placed next to one that is burning fiery of criterion, by which you are. As a physical problem, a great deal has been written about this in recent years. Isn't it? There's no need to investigate the unconscious past to you. Yet, as it manifests at this moment, no more that sort of thing, and it's like Bradstreet, who is in its half past in you, which... It is impossible to form... ...form a mental image of it. Nobody can claim exclusive possession of being. It is your very essence, and it is immediately accessible to you as the feeling. I am, that is prior to I am this, or I am that. So it is only a small step from the word being.
Mu menari. Oh, see them. I'm ready to find it. It will be possible for you to attain. This a new dimension of consciousness has come in. Only through watching your emotions that you can bring them into when. If anger is the predominant energy vibration of the pain body and you think angry thoughts, dwelling on what someone did to you or what you are going to do to him or her, then it quickly subsides. Because you're no longer in another. Where there's anger, there's always pain underneath. Or when a dark mood moon cry in a walk. Sees. Are we all thoughts in there with us? Not sure what's you mean in the first one. Search not for him. Oh yeah, here it was. Observe the reaction. You become a victim or a cop. suffer pain, or both. There isn't really much difference between the two. You are not conscious of this, of course, and you will vehemently claim that you do not want pain yet. You want to inflict pain, or you want to suffer pain, or both. There isn't really, 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 there isn't the so, or both. There isn't really much difference between the two. You are not conscious of this, of course, and you will vehemently claim that you do not want pain. But look. To keep the pain going for yourself and others. For if you want more pain, is nobody is consciously insane. The pain body, which is a dark shadow cast by the ego, is actually afraid of the light of your consciousness. It is afraid of being found out. Its survival depends on your unconscious identification with it. Dwell is on your unconscious fear of facing the pain that lives in you. But if you don't face it, if you don't bring the light of your consciousness into the pain, you will be forced to relive it again and again. The pain body may seem to you like a dangerous monster that you cannot bear to look at, but I assure you that it is an insubstantial phantom that cannot be the much of the next person who sees it for you, and it is an insubstantial phantom that much of the next person who sees it. It is an insubstantial phantom that cannot prevail against the power of your present. Free feedback is the enslavement to incessant thinking. What an incredible... <laughs> The end of the drought of 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 but also, the end of a dreadful enslavement to incessant thinking. What an incredible liberation long after my 29th birthday. I woke up in the early hours. With a feeling of absolute pain. I had woken up with such a feeling many times before. But this time, it was more intense than it had ever been. The silence of the night, the vague outlines of the furniture in the dark room, the distant noise of a passing train, everything felt so alien, so hostile, the disidentified created in me a deep fear comes close to my grave. Fear comes close. But the path with the path from the continuous movement of the path with 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 the path
Continuous sense of threat. It also includes a deep sense of abandonment and it and nervous nest weed the soil fear includes a deep sense of abandonment and it and nervous nest weed the soil fear includes a deep sense of abandonment and incompleteness. Whenever you are able to observe your mind, you are no longer trapped in it. Another factor has come in. Something that is not of the mind. with its own kind of energy. and fed constantly. So as to give us until you are able to experience what I speak of. This kind of All thought. All craving. Seeking salvation or fulfillment in external things and in the future as a substitute for the joy of being. As long as I am, like many ways in which people unconsciously resist the present moment. I will give you a few examples. I will give you a few examples. With practice, it got to stop my speech with me now. I will give it me now. So I won't answer with scissors, but so I never get that. Yeah, I hear fear on the week one, but listen, sir. Oh, it's not my job. No one. No one, oh, it's not like you, know that it is the pain body. Except that. Except that it is there. Don't know. Don't think about it. Don't let the feeling to really link down into thinking. Don't judge or analyze. They are an outside noise. If it does not let the feeling turn into thinking.
Thirteenth century spiritual teacher summed it all up beautifully. Time is what keeps the light from reaching us. There is no greater obstacle to Nupaka. It implies a complete absence of the watcher. Sustained conscious attention saves us the link between the pain body and your thought processes and brings about the process of the light of the sun. So our past and future own its much or a more complete sense of self in it, and now is no longer honored. It becomes reduced to a mere stepping. <laughs> I speak of the nature of human unconsciousness and dysfunction, as well as its most common behavioral manifestations. From conflict in relationships to warfare between tribes and nations. Such knowledge is vital, for unless you learn to recognize the false as false, as not you, there can be no lasting transformation. <laughs> and are being drawn back into illusion and into some form of pain. In this level, I ought to show you how to Afraid of the light of your consciousness. Not afraid of being found out. Its survival depends on your unconscious identification with it, as well as on your unconscious fear of facing the pain. The logic of time is a mental disease. Yes, the logic of time is a mental disease. The logic of time is a mental disease. The logic of time is a mental disease. Ica, for example, in the form of ideologies such as communism, national socialism, or any nationalism, or rigid religious belief systems, which operate under the impression, assumption that the highest good lies in the future. For the end justifies the means. The end is an idea, a point in the mind projected future, when salvation in whatever form. Happiness, fulfillment, equality, liberation, and so on, will be attained. Not infrequently, the means of getting there are the enslavement, torture, and murder of people. Of the soul, and so on. 
Lord, ne, was, ne, wer ihr möchtet, wie able to watch the pain body direct, question, hier, wer ihr möchtet, wie able to watch the pain body directly, hier, wer ihr möchtet, wie able to watch the pain body directly, hier, wer ihr möchtet, wie able to be able to watch the pain body directly, hier, wer ihr möchtet, wie able to watch the pain body directly, hier, wer ihr möchtet, wie able to watch the pain body a goal that is award A goal that is impossible for Flumisoch impossible for you to attain. Yes, do you flumisoch misery award?